Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, ADA is really from all coins, I think the coin that adheres very best, very best to all the Elliott Wave counts here, uh, even the short time frame ones. So it's really, it's really positive. Um, so for everybody who's new on the channel, um, we always expected here lower lows for ADA. We nearly got there at 40.2 cents. It was basically a double bottom uh, on many exchanges. We then started to move up here. We didn't know if it was just a, a retracement in a further downtrend. But when we reached that wave one point here at 46 cents, I told you that we can now switch or that my forecast will become bullish now for ADA. Yeah, because we invalidated a key bearish pattern, which doesn't mean we go, we are completely out of the woods yet. Yeah, please never misunderstand this because we are in an in an start of a of a of a new uptrend, which is very fragile. So at any point we could also come down, but we can become carefully optimistic. And after I told you that, we first, I believe it was something like 15%, we moved up, yeah, no, 19% nearly. And that was also the target area I gave you here for that wave, okay? We then came down in a wave A. Here I formulated for you another target for wave B. I posted that on the signals channel for gold members on Telegram, that this area could be a short opportunity, but it's a high risk because we are working against the high level trend, which is up at the moment. Um, however, who took that could have shorted in this area, could have taken profit either along the way or in this other target area that I formulated here, because when you touch it, yeah, that is the first point at which we can start to go up. So that worked out as a short trade. And I told the guys on the Telegram channel, on the Signals channel here at 47.4, 47.5, we can start looking for long opportunities. And also here, when we touch that level, amazing. Yeah. So anybody who says TA doesn't work, I mean, just look at this. Of course, it doesn't work 100% of the time. But when you are riding the right wave, then because otherwise, how could I have have forecasted this at 46 cents that we go up here then i told you this area and then i told you this area as a reversal point yeah and now the target for the next wave up would be 69 cents now we can never guarantee that it will really get there in the end um this is only guidelines yeah and can give you an orientation but this was pretty much spot on which is good because it increases confidence that we indeed are riding the right elliott wave here and that um, we could then really also, yeah, that also the next target <clears throat> should be, should be <clears throat> sorry, uh, spot on. If I, if I, you know, if you join for the Signals channel, I always say if you, if you join Telegram or Discord, please join for the community and see just the Signals channel as a nice add-on because there is so much else and the day only has 24 hours so I can't just post Signals all day, but um, it's a nice add-on, absolutely, and uh, can give you shorter term um, market updates, absolutely. And uh, this obviously was a really good, um, a really good development. Yeah, I would have, would have liked uh, honestly, I would have liked to get down to the 61.8% FIP level, but that's the reason why the target area is here. Because if you forecast it, you never, obviously, we all don't know the future. You can only formulate an area of high likelihood where the price will reverse. Obviously here, the 50% was already enough, but it was part of the green area. We touched it and then saw that strong reaction. We even came into it, moved up again, retested. That's always a good signal. Bullish engulfing candle and then moving up, okay? And now we're even holding above the wave behind. Now, what I then said also in the last video is that we have here a descending wedge where we can be on the lookout for a breakout. Above the descending wedge is obviously a good um, a good signal that we continue to go up. And the, the next best signal will be a move above the wave B, both of, of which has been accomplished. Now, we now need to be on the lookout for higher prices. Yeah, Next evidence that we go higher will be a breakout above the wave one high here at 54.7. Target for that now, and we can recalculate that. I believe it was 69 cents. Let's just do this. We look at it from a point of view that all of this was a wave one. So we take the length of the wave one. We go to the low. Now that we know the low was here, you know, we, we don't know, but with a high likelihood, yeah. Um, there's never a hundred percent guarantee. It could very well be we come back into this green area, unfortunately. Yeah, but the likelihood, because of the impulsive nature of that move up, I think we can be confident that we're now following this. So the target would be seventy-one cents, the one point six one eight extension. Um, be aware, there's an important resistance area here between sixty-seven and sixty-nine cents. So 
that will probably be a first area of resistance, a big area of resistance. So anybody who went indeed long here in the green area, I mean, that's why these areas are there, but you have to decide yourself if you want to do it. I can only give you my own opinion. Um, but anybody who really went long in the area, for, first of all, congratulations. But then I guess profit target, I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally wait for 71 cents, even though it's a 1.618 extension and in the process of creating that third wave, we should indeed get there. But because there's never a guarantee, um, the first, the resistance here, I, I would take the chance to take profit here. I mean, that would already be um, from down here, which was probably the retest would have been an entering uh, an area to enter this. I mean, anybody who entered, honestly, uh, that would already be like 40%. And um, if this is the wave three, yeah, in a wave three, that's normally where you want to get into, of course. So a wave three is um, typically the strongest wave and we already see good evidence for that, yeah. So, moving up strongly this could just be this is just a consolidation and this is actually bullish at the moment especially if we hold the previous wave b high at 51.1 this is quite bullish because we are consolidating just sideways could call that a bull flag yeah so getting interesting here for ada so just want to keep you updated hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye